let me begin by saying that the most important lesson I learned was to double check that you've packed everything since a sewing machine does little to help you without a cord to power it. Hey there. I want to tell you a little story about something that happened back in July. I sewed a dress in a day. And I should say, I hand sewed a dress in a day. But it wasn't for me. I don't think that I would be able to do that since I have no problem letting myself down. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me set the scene for you. Back in July, my family went on a vacation to the mountains of Tennessee. Not all of my family was able to make it, but since I have somewhere around 20 nieces or nephews, I knew that at least some of them would be there. Knowing this and knowing that I was going to have a week to spend with them, I packed some sewing stuff. I was actually really hoping that one of my younger nieces would want me to make them a dress or a skirt or something. And with little kids and simple designs, I would be able to make that for them while we were on vacation. So fast forward, we're on vacation. I have this big tote full of fabric and notions and ribbons and buttons and all this stuff to make a thing. We get a day where we decide we're not gonna go anywhere, we're not gonna do anything. Today is about relaxing. And I go and I get my sewing stuff and I realize I didn't pack the cord for the sewing machine. I figured, okay, I don't need to sew. There's other things that need doing. I brought along my projects. So I figured I would just take one of my projects that I had just gotten a pattern for and I had just gotten the fabric for and I would just cut out the, the pattern pieces because that takes a long time in itself. So I start doing that and my sweet little five-year-old niece says the words that I had been hoping to hear. Will you make me a dress? I'm sorry, but how can you say no? <sighs> so I did. I took her over to my fabric. I said, pick out a fabric, pick out a thread, pick out buttons. Do you want it long, short, long sleeve? She actually said long sleeve, but we ended up not doing that. And then I started, after cutting out the pieces, to sew a dress by hand. I did have the dress done in one day. The seams weren't finished. It was really haphazard. The ribbon that I had was actually just elastic that I tied in a bow so that she could wear it. And then when I put it on her, it was too long. She wanted to run around. So she didn't wear it for very long on vacation, but I asked her if I could take it with me so that I could finish it and I would send it to her. But I learned some very important lessons because this was the first dress that I made that was wearable. I did make a mock-up for one of my friends that might have been after, maybe before, I don't remember, but I hardly think that counts. After the first initial measurements that we took on vacation, she wasn't there for me to like measure on her for anything, so I had to, I had to guess. I want to share with you what I learned from this experience. So the first thing I learned, five-year-olds are impatient. To be fair, a day is a lot longer to a five-year-old. It's a bigger portion of their life, and they've gone through less of them. And I have to say, too, that even though she was impatient, like she kept asking if the dress was going to be done and if it was done. She was so supportive. She went to go take her nap, and she asked if it would be done by the time she woke up. I said, probably not. And she said, okay, well, just try your best. She was really encouraging, she was really supportive, and that was great since an adult that's impatient would probably not give me the same graces that she did. The second thing I learned was that hand sewing isn't that bad. I spent an entire day hand sewing, and if I had a sewing machine, I definitely would have preferred that. It probably would have taken me like an hour to make the whole dress. Given the resources I had, it wasn't too bad. It was relaxing and something that I could do while I was outside enjoying the view. Number three, sewing children's clothes is 
so much fun and it is so easy because there's less there, it's more manageable and you don't have to worry about big train going over the side of the table while you're getting it through the machine or anything like that. It was such a joy. And if you are new to sewing and you're intimidated by making clothes for yourself, try making doll's clothes or clothes for children first to just kind of get an idea of how it drapes, how it works. You might find that you're more comfortable with that and you might just stick to kids' clothes because honestly, I would 10 out of 10 make another one of these dresses for a kid anytime. Number four, gathers are really difficult to even out, but it's okay because nobody's gonna notice except for you. So what I did with my gathers was I marked the middle and I marked the middle of either side. So it's in quarters and then I just gathered in those spots. Are they perfectly even? No, but once I had it all done and laid out, you can't even tell. There were a lot of things that I really wanted to do with this dress. I had never done sleeves before, so I wanted to do sleeves. Without measurements, I thought maybe I could do butterfly sleeves, which are like the, the ones that are gathered here and then they kind of pop up as they go out. Even those you need a little bit of measurement on, but it's more forgiving. There were other notions I wanted to put on it. There were other things I wanted to do with it, but sometimes you must accept defeat because five-year-olds grow quickly. Now there's a good chance that my niece doesn't fit into this dress anymore, which is sad, but that's my own fault because I didn't get the dress to her for I think two months. My mom said that she was really excited about her dress, really excited to get it. My mom told me how excited she was and said, you know, gotta get moving on that. She's not gonna stay the same size forever. With that, I abandoned trying to do the sleeves and just went with the sleeves that she had had, which was just the straps, and I put ribbons on top and ribbon along the front. I got the zipper done, which the zipper is like the whole size of the dress. Made her this cute little cottage core esque dress out of a bed sheet. One that you actually saw in the fabric thrift haul video, which I will put it up here if you want to click that and see some of my other fabrics. Something else that I learned was that some people will be really impressed when you tell them, hey, I hand sewed this dress, or even I sewed this dress. And some people will not. For somebody that's a beginner like me, I'm really proud of having made something. And so when I tell like the person who works at Joann's and okay, don't even get me started on the people who work at this Joann's down here. I don't know if it's all Joann's, but I feel like you should know something about fabric and crafts and sewing to be able to do that job. Is that not a thing anymore? And you should be interested. Like I know they have to say, what are you making today? But you should be some kind of interested in what the person's making or feign interest at the very least. But I told the person at the register that I hand sewed a dress for my niece in a day and I may as well have been saying that I ordered something from Wendy's that afternoon. I feel the need to interject here and say that I'm not doing this for accolades, but sometimes it's nice to know that when you did something that you felt was really difficult and you're proud of it, that other people acknowledge that it's difficult too. I don't care so much about a huge pat on the back as I do validation that what I did was really cool and sometimes you just don't get that from people. Anyway. My mom was really excited, but my mom's kind of excited about everything I do. Kind of an occupational hazard of being a mother, I think. Not that she's not genuinely proud of me, but that I don't know how proud she would be if I wasn't her daughter. On the day I went to ship it, I took it into my work all packaged in its box and everything, and one of our regular customers that comes in, who sews and knows that I sew, wanted to see it, and I showed her, and her reaction just kinda made it worthwhile that everybody else was really unimpressed. She really made me feel good about what I made. And that brings us to the last thing that I learned. Nothing quite compares to the feeling of seeing her excitement when she finally got the dress. Do you like it? <laughs> Thank you.